Okay, so now you guys are going to help me with just a few problems. So the first thing we're going to do here is look at this first problem and see what we notice. First of all, how do we know that these two angles are supplementary? Exactly. We know that these angles are supplementary because we see a straight line here. Every time we see a straight line, that we know that those angles are supplementary, which means those two angles are equal to 180 degrees. So now, the next thing I'm going to do is label each angle. I have angle one here, and I have angle two here. So now that my angles are labeled, I can write an equation. Can you guys try to write an equation for me? Okay, hopefully you guys wrote something that looks a little like this. Angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 180 degrees. Good job. So now we're going to fill in the information that we know. We know that angle 1, we don't have the angle measure for that. So we're going to write A, which is what we're looking for here. And angle 2 here is measuring 121 degrees. So we can fill in the measure for angle 2. So let's go back and we can put angle 1 plus 121 is equal to 180. So now we can simply solve for this. Now there's a couple different ways that we've talked about already that we can solve for this. We can use our number line and we can count up from 121 until we get to 180. Or we can simply subtract 121 from 180. So this time we're going to subtract. We're going to subtract 180 minus 121 and that's going to give me angle one so now we simply subtract we cannot minus one from zero so we must regroup and borrow ten ones ten ones minus one one is nine ones seven tens minus two tens gives me five tens, and then 100 minus 100 gives me zero hundreds, which is a placeholder. So the angle measure of angle A or angle 1 is equal to 59 degrees. Now we must check that. So if we plug 59 degrees into angle 1, we will see that it should equal 180. Let's find out. So we plug it in. 59 plus 121 is equal to 180. Let's see if that's true or not. So let's add over here. 121 plus 59. 1 1 plus 9 ones is, gives me 10 ones. We regroup. Two tens plus five tens is seven tens plus one ten is eight tens. And we bring down the 100 gives me 180 ones. So this is definitely true. Perfect job. So let's move to the next one. So for this one, we know the opposite angle measure, the smaller angle measure. And again, how do we know that? These two angles are supplementary. Great job. This straight line on the bottom lets me know that the total of these two angles is 180 degrees. 
So the next thing we do, we need to label our angles, angle one and angle two. And then we need to write down the information that we know. Angle one is equal to 60 degrees. And angle two, we do not know. So we're going to write A there. All right. I want you guys to try to write the equation for me. And the equation should look something like this. Angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 180. So now we fill in the information that we know. Angle 1 is actually 60 degrees plus angle 2 we don't actually know. So we're going to keep it at angle 2. And it's going to equal 180. I want you guys to try to figure that out and see if you can come up with the answer. So we should have been asking ourselves, what number can we add to 60 to get to 180? We can find that out by simply subtracting 180 minus 60. Zero ones minus zero ones gives me how many ones? Great, zero ones. Eight tens minus six tens gives me how many tens? Perfect, two tens. And then 100 minus 0 hundreds gives me 100. So the measure of angle A should be 120. But before we know that for sure, we have to go in and check it. So we're going to plug this measure, this angle measure, into this equation. So we're going to take 60 plus 120. And that should equal 180. So let's add 120 plus 60. Zero ones plus zero ones gives me zero ones. Two tens plus six tens gives me eight tens. And then 100 plus zero hundreds gives me 180. So this equation checks out. Both sides make this equation balanced. And the measure of angle two is 120 degrees.